Don't even tell me that you have not been coming out to Monday night Bible classes. Let me tell you what I know now. There is no way, and I mean no way, the enemy can rob me of my authority. And those of us that have been coming out feel the same way. It's not too late to get on board. We already know that our mission is to educate, emancipate, and empower a people to ultimately make a difference in our personal lives and community. To us, it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God. So together, we will study and discuss perspectives from the book, The Believer's Authority by Kenneth E. Hagen. This discussion series concentrating on the believer's authority will set your faith on fire. Remember, these classes are open to everyone eager to learn and grow in our Christian faith. New converts, seasoned believers, new members, clergy, teachers, ministry members, and leaders. All are invited and encouraged to participate. Our remaining dates are November 26th, December 3rd, December 10th, December 17th. So mark your calendars and make sure to be in attendance. Saints, we are about to hit the big 3-0, 30 years. Yes, this upcoming year, we'll have our 30th National Convocation. Dates are July 15th through 20th, 2019, and will be in Orlando, Florida. In celebration of this phenomenal milestone, we have a special early registration, $30 for 30 days. That's a $35 discount. So don't miss out. Lock in your registration at this special price, only available for the month of November. Please see anyone now standing to take advantage of this special. Our 30th anniversary will be our best year yet. Top Community Development Corporation, Dove Initiative, will be hosting a free pop-up clothing boutique and we need your help. What's in your closet? If you have gently used or new business casual and business clothing that you are willing to part with, you can be a blessing to individuals entering or re-entering the workforce. We will be collecting men and women's clothing starting October 29th until November 20th at Tabernacle of Praise. Event will be December 1st at TOP Civic Center. For more information, see anyone now standing or call 718-451-1020. Calling all women. Join us for our monthly women's prayer line call. It happens the first Saturday of each month at 7 a.m. Eastern Time, 6 a.m. Central Time. Join women from around the nation as we connect with one another and draw closer to God in prayer. A praying woman is a powerful woman. The number to dial is 712-432-0075. Use access code 502-676-POUND. Again, call 712-432-0075. 0075. Use access code 502-676-POUND. Send your prayer requests and praise reports to Women's Ministry at UnitedCovenantChurches.com. Together, we are more powerful. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can move mountains. We'll be listening for you on the next call. Mark your calendars from now to save the date for us to come together to meet God in prayer. Faith is my song and hope is my crescendo. Calling one and all. Are you committed to start the year off with your now faith? We will be doing things a bit differently this year. We will be gathering in the sanctuary on January the 5th from 6 a.m. to 12 noon. The doors will be open at 5.30 a.m. and close at 6 a.m. No exceptions. We're, We're the, the Hardemans. We trusted God. And we gave our first fruits. When we first heard about the concept of first fruits, uh, it was it was strange to us. It was it was different because we um, knew about tithing and offering and. And we had that down, and, and we were really uh, on our way to to um, paying off debt. To be honest with you, 
Right. So we couldn't quite understand how we would give a week's salary, tithe, do offering, also pay the mortgage, pay the car note, or the, you know all the other mm-hmm. things that come, utilities. Our assignment for our for, for was to give a week's salary. Something about that, uh, it just didn't compute. And, and we went over the budget and we rebudgeted several times. And, and then we looked and said, how can we make this work? We really wanted to make it happen. It was going to take sacrifice. So we, we carpooled. Uh, we cut back on the grocery budget for the month. We, we stopped eating out, mm-hmm. um, cut my hair appointments down from weekly to every three weeks, uh, did whatever we needed to do. We went shopping in our own pantry and our own freezer yep. uh, before we went to the grocery store just to uh, make sure we got that week's salary. Yeah. And, and in the end, we were able to give our first fruits. So over the year, uh, the course of the year, Dexter and I saw just unusually uh, high raises, as well mm-hmm. as uh, I got a promotion. Mm-hmm. And I saw a 30% increase in my pay. Um, and it was out of the blue, to be honest with you. And you also got a promotion. You, you didn't even go after. Promotion, yeah, sure yeah. did. So. We're not saying we gave just because we thought we were going to get the raises and the bonuses and pay off our debt. We, we didn't give first fruits for that purpose. We gave uh, to be obedient to God's word, and, and that's why we did it.